How are you doing everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Master and Drone Whiskey Room. If you're a subscriber, thanks for coming. Uh, glad to see you here again. If it's your first time here, you're looking for the latest in whiskey and bourbon news and reviews, you have found the right channel. So think about hitting that subscribe button below and also hit that bell notification so you know when I'm putting out a brand new video. So today we have a really cool bottle. This is the uh, first release of the Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7 Legacy Edition. Let's get into it. So Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7 is the classic standard of the famous Tennessee whiskey brand of Brown Foreman. Uh, and we've all come to know and love that famous black and white label uh, on that bottle. But uh, like a lot of whiskey brands, it hasn't always been this way over a long period of time. Uh, Jack Daniels has varied the design through its more than 150 years of history. Now with this new series, Legacy Edition, Brown Foreman wants to present different labels that Jack Daniels has seen over the years. Now, Brown Foreman doesn't give any information about the exact point of time when this green Jack Daniels label was in use, but we do know that a golden medal had been awarded to the product at the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. So the green label with its red and golden elements must have been created probably years before. So this bottle is the first in the series of Legacy Edition bottles, and each label released will celebrate the unique, slightly mysterious history of old number seven. The outer appearance differs. Uh, the whiskey is the same like in the classic old number seven, only this is bottled at 43% ABV rather than the 40% ABV in today's black and white label. This is available now with an MSRP for about 25 bucks. All right, guys, so here's a cool close-up of that Legacy Edition. Um, this red, green, gold trim, almost kind of uh, like a Christmas bottle almost. <laughs> but uh, it actually really stood out on the shelf uh, when I passed it, and I really wanted to give it a try. Once I saw it had a different um, uh, proof point being 86 rather than the, uh, than the 80 on your standard uh, number 7. So uh, old number 7 is made from a mash bill of 80% corn, 12% barley, and 8% rye. Limestone filtered water and a starter mash or a sour mash from previous batches are added for fermentation to allow for consistency. After about a six day fermentation, the mash is distilled to 140 proof. Now the new make whiskey is then charcoal mellowed through that famous Lincoln County process that Jack Daniels is known for through 10 feet of maple charcoal prior to aging. This is aged at least four years in new charred American oak barrels, which distillery uh, makes itself, which Brown Foreman is known for. So. Let's uh, get a pour here. This is a twist cap. Pour some Legacy Edition. All right, let's try it. All right, guys, so really excited to get into this one. Uh, Jack Daniels has been really impressing me uh, as of late, especially their single barrel series, the Heritage Barrel from last year, this limited release. Uh, this was one of my this was my surprise whiskey of 2018. It's absolutely delicious. Incredible what they're doing. Uh, they're really kind of flipping. You know, they're really flipping that stigma of Jack Daniels being just kind of a mixer type whiskey on its head. Uh, they're doing some amazing things with these bottlings. Um, so I was really excited to kind of get into this one and see how it differs from the regular number seven. And don't worry, we will be doing a comparison. So let's get into this one first. So let's, first, let's just check the color. Uh, nice golden amber, uh, light honey color, not too dark. Um, sticks to the glass actually pretty well. Now, this is, uh, this is kind of reminiscent of what uh, Jim Beam did uh, with their repeal batch last year. I have it right here, uh, where they kind of took their regular Jim Beam offering, boosted it to 86 proof. Uh, it was kind of reminiscent of the way they were creating their whiskey back, uh, you know, way back after Prohibition. So, while that's not this, this is really about the legacy of the label, it does have that nostalgic look and feel to it. And again, that boost to 86 proof, so... All right, let's go in the nose and see what we get. Here we go. Yeah, you definitely get a little bit of that Jack Daniels, that typical Jack Daniels nose, that, that hint of banana there. But it's kind of mixed in with some more fruit flavors there. It's not, it's not that artificial banana flavor or, or nose that you get. It's more, a little bit more refined, some more apricots, maybe some peach in there. You definitely get that that Lincoln County process note in there, that beautiful maple, oak, kind of that charcoal bit to it, but 
Really nice vanilla caramels too. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's even a little bit of hint of uh, kind of a French toast cinnamon thing going on in there. It's really nice. Yeah, the proof isn't really coming through. I mean, it's only 86. I'm curious to see how this nose would compare with the alcohol coming out from the old, uh, you know, the regular 80 proof number seven. Like I said, we're going to do a comparison. Mm, really good on the nose. Very inviting, very sweet. Classic Jack Daniels. But I think it's just a little bit more refined, so... All right, let's get into the taste. Here we go. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow. The... All right, so you're not getting that big, you know, hint of banana on the palate, but one thing that jumped off the bat on this was it there, there was definitely a better mouthfeel to this. Definitely a little bit more medium body. It's not as thin. I mean, it's thin, but it's definitely not nearly as thin as the regular Jack Daniels uh, offering, the regular number seven. Uh, but... Yeah, really good mouthfeel to it. Definitely a little bit more velvety. Uh, kind of a medium, a more medium finish on there. Let's go for another sip here, see what we get. Cheers. So yeah, so that orchard fruit note that I was getting on the nose is definitely translating to the pal a little bit. You have the beautiful vanilla caramel flavors that you get, that maple oak. Mm. It's still super smooth as a great Jack Daniels should be. But yeah, that, that little extra bit of apricot, peach, caramels in there. It's, a, it's definitely a little bit richer, but I'm really getting impressed by the, by the better mouthfeel in this. It's really, it's really kind of nice on the palate. It's definitely sticking around. Uh, that cinnamon note too, it's kind of leaving a tingle on uh, kind of my tongue here. It's uh, really nice. All right, let's go for another sip. Here we go. Ooh, I just got like a nice little hint of chocolate there. Yeah, very, a very slight hint of like maybe a milk chocolate. It's not super different than the regular Jack Daniels. It's just, it's, it's just, it's creamier. It's more velvety. The finish on this and the, and the way it's kind of sticking to the palate is what's impressing me most. It's, it's really impressive what six more proof points can do. It really is. Let's go in for one final sip here. Okay, yeah, it's evening out a little bit. The flavors are getting a little bit more flat now. Not as robust as your first few sips. But the thing that is sticking through this, it's that little bit of an orchard fruit, a little bit of that peach, a little bit of that, maybe that apricot. You still get that nice maple, a nice maple note there. But that little bit of a, of a cinnamon and that creamier, more velvety mouthfeel, is what's really kind of setting this apart. It's it, it's pretty good. It's very reminiscent of the Jim Beam repeal batch and how that uh, the mouthfeel was on that. It's very similar, but this has a little bit more of a of a fruitiness aspect to it. It's very good. All right, guys. So as promised, we are going to compare this to the old number seven, the Jack Daniels. So uh, I have this little bottle here. So let's give it a pour. All right. All right, so now let's see how this stacks up against the regular old number seven. I have a little small traveler bottle here. I poured this glass, have the, uh, the new Legacy series sitting in here. Remember, this is 86 proof. This is 80 proof. Um, let's see how it differs and um, what the differences are. So let's go on the nose on the regular old number seven. Yeah, much more of a, uh, of a banana aspect to it but, it, but it smells a little bit more artificial than it does on the Legacy. You get much more of a corn note. I think in the regular number seven too. I wasn't really getting that on the um, on the Legacy series. Strong banana, you definitely get a lot of that charcoal, but it comes through more as a little bit more of a of an uh, of a char, almost like a barrel char. Yeah, very sweet, super candy on the nose. Let's go to the Legacy here. Wow, it's it's amazing how different the noses are here. This is this is a lot more fruity on the nose. And that artificial banana, as I mentioned, isn't really coming through. It's there, but this is way more uh, pungent and very candy sweet. Where this is, this is giving you a much more rounder nose. It's, it's giving you more fruit flavors in there. A little bit more of a caramel. That cinnamon on there, too, is really kind of punching through. It's a, it's a much better nose on here. I mean, this is the classic Jack uh, Daniels, you know, flavor profile on the nose, but... It just compared to this, this comes off as way super sweet, you know, which a lot of people like. But, you know, when you're kind of drinking something straight, you want some more of a balance. And I think this one on the nose definitely provides that. 
Yeah, super candy, corn sweet, and this, and this one, a little bit more refined, fruits, cinnamon, definitely a little bit of that maple oak. Really nice, definitely give the nod to this for the nose. All right, let's go in for the flavor. Here we go, cheers. First with the old number seven, the original. Yeah, you taste, you taste more of the charcoal, that charcoal maple, that Lincoln County process. I feel like you get more of that on here, that maple charcoal filtering. You definitely taste that but it's a lot more candy sweetness on there. I would say the finish is definitely short, maybe slightly medium, but more on the short side. Um, yeah, a little bit more of that banana flavor on there. Let's go in for one more sip here. Yeah, even when I take a sip, I could still smell all that banana coming through. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is all corn, banana, oak, char, maple, and it's just kind of staying there, very sweet. Classic Jack Daniels flavors. Now, you go to this, just six points higher in proof. As I said, much better nose, way more balanced. Yeah. It's not nearly as super sweet. This is way more balanced. Is it going to blow you away? No. It's, it's still 86 proof. It's just a damn fine taste in whiskey. Really good. I mean, it's not going to blow you away, but if you're a Jack Daniels enthusiast, then I really think this bottle is going to impress you. Um, it really offers a lot in, in flavor. It's definitely different than the regular old number seven. This is those classic notes that you know and love. This has way more of a rounder, a rounder flavor profile, much more balanced. I'm loving the, 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 the fruit and the cinnamon note on this. Really, really, really nice. Compared to the regular old number seven, you know, that ex that six extra proof points, it's amazing what it can do. It's just the mouthfeel on this. It it's still a medium finish. You know, the flavors aren't exploding, but what you do get in here for 25 bucks, you get a much more refined old number seven Jack Daniels drinking experience with a little bit more, some fruit flavors in there, some cinnamon, a way better of a mouthfeel than this. This is just kind of quick, thin. Doesn't really stick to the palate, but this definitely sticks around a little bit longer. And this offers you a, a really great drinking experience. If you're a Jack Daniels fan, this is definitely a must pick up. And for 25 bucks, why not? All right, guys. So like I said, for $25, I think you will really enjoy this. It's, it's definitely bolder. I think the mouthfeel alone is just worth the price. It's, it's really great to try. It's got a beautiful mouthfeel to it. Much more creamier than the regular old number seven. And definitely more refined fruit flavors. Better finish, cinnamon, vanillas, caramels, and a little bit of a peppery note that just kind of stays there. But I think that's really in the form of that cinnamon note. And I'm really excited to see kind of what new labels. Remember, this is the first edition of their Legacy Series. And we're going to see some new bottles with labels, with new labels. And we can see how uh, the Jack Daniels uh, branding evolved over time. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for watching the Master Drum Whiskey Room. Really appreciate you stopping by. Uh, if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram and please find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had this, if you've compared the two, because I really think there's a big stark difference between them. Uh, and this one definitely comes out on top. So with that, like I always say, it is not about the whiskey. It is the people you share it with. So cheers. And here's to Jack Daniels. Take care.